Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about cauliflower mushrooms, chayote squash, and monstera. The cauliflower mushroom is composed of clusters of frilled leaf-like branches emerging all from a joined base. And uh, one of my favorite mushrooms, it uh, looks kind of like coral reef almost, or um, cauliflower of course, that's how it got its name. One of the good things about this is uh, there's no poisonous look-alikes in this mushroom, so it's really great for less experienced foragers and people just starting to uh, try to uh, go out and gather some mushrooms. They tend to grow in the same spot year after year, and they can be found in the Pacific Northwest and uh, different parts of Europe as well. Some of the recipes include hot and sour soup, uh, cauliflower, mushroom toast, and uh, one of my favorites is just kind of rub it with oil, roast it in the oven, and just put a little bit of hollandaise sauce on top of it. Chayote comes in many names and many different guises. Um, there's some white varieties out there, there's a smooth variety, and then uh, of course this prickly variety as well. All the varieties pretty much have that same similar taste, uh, mild, nutty flavor. Uh, really a diverse though uh, piece of produce because you can eat the tendrils, the leaves, the flowers, the seeds. Um, even the roots of, of the plant is edible and uh, so used in many different cultures. Um, also called the vegetable pear, the Christophene, Sayote, and uh, in the Philippines they even call it green gold. Um, younger fruit can be eaten raw in slaws and salads. You can also uh, treat it like a potato um, and you know slow roast it or boil it and mash it. You can even cut it in half and stuff it. Latin America, um, I've seen a lot of recipes where they kind of treat it like a sweet potato and uh, make it into a pie, so it's kind of a delicious treat. Monstera, also known as Swiss cheese fruit or Mexican breadfruit, although it's not related to the traditional breadfruit, has this uh, cylindrical reptile-like fruit and these little hexagon uh, shaped tiles on its exterior and how you can tell when this is ripe is they'll start falling off these tiles will just start dropping off naturally by themselves and underneath that is this uh, tiles or kernels of fruit and really delicious custard like texture reminiscent of pineapple banana mango um, you can experiment with this monstera by uh, using anything you're know, using in recipes that you would use in like pureed bananas so like uh, um, banana bread or banana cake it's really a special treat if you're lucky enough to find it thanks for joining that's what's hot in the cooler this week